Okay, everybody. So this is a video about my my quad. It's a K450 frame. Uh, this is my radio, a Flysky TH9XB. You can remove the module. Uh, it's mode two, and uh, I have here LED lights installed. FPV camera. I'm not sure if you can see me yet. Here it is. FPV camera and a mount for my Denver AC uh, 1000. Um, this is the receiver, my battery pack, a 2200 milliamps recell 30C I energy. This is my FPV gear. Home built. And this is the Boss Cam 200, 200 milliwatt transmitter I bought from Banggood and uh, built this, installed it here. This antenna was built with some old coaxial TV cable. It works fine, but the thing I'm about to, uh, to talk about now, right now, is I used to have a KK2 here. And uh, yesterday I swapped for a Flip32 Plus. I'm not sure if you can see it there. It's inside a little box. I've installed a Flip32 Plus. In a few days I'm going to be installing GPS, a Neo 6. But for now, I don't have it. But uh, the most important about this video is um, to talk about the compass. Yesterday with the flip 32 when I installed it I was having a bit of an issue with the compass because it would it wouldn't keep its heading straight and so I saw the, I saw a video from painless uh, 360 uh, in YouTube saying that we should uh, get all the power cables away from the board and all that kind of things because they could provoke an interference uh, in the compass and then what I realized after a while was this that I'm about to show you right now. This is my beeper. I have a beeper installed. And as you can see, I have this long wire. And it is here. Why? Because I want to keep it away from the board. Because this, this is the little beeper. I bought for 97 cents at Bango. It works fine. But that is a perfect magnet and that magnet was interfering with the compass and that's why I couldn't get it to uh, to work properly on mag mode it was uh, still drifting drifting and not keeping its heading pointed towards the direction I would uh, I would let it and I have here this small compass in my hand and this is just to show you uh, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, but so, as you can see, right here in the middle of the quad, next to the board, I have this compass, right? And it's pointing north. North is the red on the compass, you can see it. And then when I bring it close to the beeper, beeper, buzzer, whatever you want to call it. Can you see what's happening? So, now it's far away. It points north. When it goes close, see what happens. See? Next to the board, it's pointing north. I can turn it around and it always goes to point at the same direction. Turn it around and it points north. If you bring it here next to this, see? See how it changes? Because this is a perfect magnet. Now imagine this next to the Flip32 compass. And imagine the kind of interference this will make. And that's why I couldn't get my magnetometer to work fine. 
that's why I put this long wire and put the beeper here far away from the board which is here in the middle of the quad see and all the way here there you go that's as far as this and now it works just fine okay simple test with this once again if I can get this camera to focus okay so it's pointing north see I can turn it around it keeps on pointing the same direction bring it next to the beeper and it starts starts drifting see this is a magnet <laughs>